Hey everybody, what's up? This is James. <coughs> Just going through the tank real quick. I went and got me some green cabamba. As you can see, they're pretty nice. They're nice and dark. I had some blooms on here. This one has already died off. That was like that when I got it. This one up here has got a couple of blooms that are working their way in. I also got a bigger bunch over here. This is pretty nice looking. Uh, right here. I'm not sure what the little straggler is that came with it. I'm not positive. I'll have to look that up and see. Put this little guy in there tied in with him. Also, come over here real quick. I got me some Amazons. This is a pretty nice looking plant. Got a nice little root system at the top as well, so I'll have another new one. And then there's another Amazon. That one leaf's got a little bit of a round spot to it, but not bad. I think it'll be alright. Also, I picked me up a Bulldog Pleco. I don't think we're going to get a good picture of him, but that's a Bulldog. I picked him up for about $2.99, something like that, and he's actually considered an exotic, one of the exotic pleckles, which is kind of funny because he wasn't a lot of money, and they call it exotic due to the fact that they only grew up to like four or five inches at the most, so he's just... Pretty wild looking. He's got a crazy head on him, that's for sure. I don't know if I can zoom in him a little better or not. He said he wanted to go in that hole. Yeah, probably not. He's being a toughie. I also added 20 more neons tonight. Only because I want to fill this tank up so it looks really good with the small fish in it. I think it'll be looking really good. I mean it's a 75 gallon tank so all these little small fish are nothing compared to the size of the aquarium. It's not like they have a big bio load. And I also got one more of the brass tetra. They gave him to me because the other one had died and apparently we missed it the day that I had taken them all supposedly so I have a new one of those to replace the one that ended up dying in here but that's really about it I mean other than him he's cool the only other aquatic life I'll be adding to this tank hopefully I'll be getting the golden nugget Pleco which I've been wanting for the last two years and then the uh, clown pleco of course but most importantly I want the cold golden nugget that one runs between sixty and eighty dollars generally just because of it's a really cool looking pleco this guy is pretty cool looking too not very big, tiny little eyes, and he's just an amazing looking little fish. So, right now he doesn't have a whole lot to eat, so I do have algae wafers for it. So, that's one good thing at least. Because he won't be cleaning much off the glass just yet. But, uh... Yeah, he's pretty cool. Alright, so anyways, that's what's going on. Four plants, 20 more neons, so I've got a total of 70 to 75 neons. And then I've got 20 of the Ras Tetra. I know everybody bases one inch per gallon as far as that goes, which these aren't your typical fish. I mean, 
these are so tiny bio load is like nothing especially when I've got two big filters inside this system so. all right guys thanks for watching I'm gonna go ahead and shut their lights out let them get some sleep and with that we're out of here thanks for watching everybody enjoy your evening bye bye